In the television industry, everything can change at the drop of a hat, depending on the demands of the market. Shows and even networks have been known to rebrand overnight in order to hold on to an audience or chase after a new one. That's how TLC and Discovery went from the type of content you'd watch in school when your teacher was hungover to the type of content you watch at home so you can console yourself with the knowledge that other people have made worse life choices than you. It's also why the Teen Mom franchise is still plugging along despite the fact that its original stars are now in their late 20s and early 30s. Yes, they're still moms, but the stars of the show haven't been teens for quite some time. This is a fact that's frequently pointed out to the cast members on Twitter, particularly after they engage in some high school caliber drama. And as the Ashley's Reality Roundup points out, it seems that Kaylin Lowry is sick of being reminded about the fact that the title of her show has been inaccurate for about eight years now. There was a comment yesterday on somebody's Instagram, and it was like, These girls are almost 30, get them off TV, or whatever, Kayle said during a recent episode of her Coffee Convos podcast. I actually commented back and said, Teen motherhood doesn't just stop when you turn 20, there's an aftermath, there's so much more of a story that goes on after you become a teen parent. Yes, it seems that Kale is of the opinion that the issue goes well beyond her physical age, as she feels a moral obligation to continue telling her story, or something. It doesn't define you, but there's so much more that goes into it after that fact, Kale said. Things are harder later on, the statistics are against you still. Even beyond those teen years, there's so much more, there's so much more to be said, there's still so much story to be told. As you can tell, it's an issue that Laurie feels quite strongly about, and not only because she has managed to parlay the success of her reality show into a career as a one-woman business empire. The aftermath and the decisions we make now, they all stem from having been teen parents, Gail continued. A lot of things we go through now, no, it doesn't define us, but there are decisions that we still have to make because we were teen parents. I think in that way the title of the show still makes sense, I hope that other people see it. While we certainly don't blame Kale for sticking with her cushy gig, the argument that the show still serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of teen motherhood is obviously bogus. Most real-world teen moms don't stumble into six-figure gigs that don't even require them to leave the house. But Kale says getting pregnant in high school has forced her to make some hard decisions, and she admits there are certain things she would do differently. If I was older when I started having kids and I was able to have my kids closer together, I probably would have, she said. Because now there's a huge gap between the ages of Isaac and Creed. Kale's co-host Lindsay Chrisley sympathized with her plight and pointed out that being a mom is just about all Kale has ever known. By the time you get done parenting, you would have basically parented for your whole life because you started so young, Lindsay said. As you're probably aware, Chelsea Houska quit Teen Mom 2 last month, and the move raised questions about how much longer the other moms would hang around. And it seems that Kale is planning to stick around until the paychecks stop rolling in. In some ways, I do wish to carry on with the show, and in some ways I'm like, okay, maybe it would be okay to do something else. I'm rolling with the punches, she said. I told one of my children's father the other day, I'm gonna ride the wave until they tell me they're not going to do the show anymore, Kale continued. Mainly because there's still so much story to be told and I want to be able to show people that you can come out on top even if you are a teen parent or a young parent. Again, in no way do we fault Kale for hanging on to a gig that brings her a cool half a mil a year in income. To say nothing of the countless branding and sponsored content opportunities. But her fans would probably appreciate it if she just went ahead and stopped acting like she's performing a public service. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.